Okay, um, several of you have emailed or posted or otherwise asked questions about um, the uh, Wheatstone Bridge and uh, two things. It, it's pretty simple um, and you don't need to know a lot about electronics or circuits to do it. Uh, so let's just very quickly talk about um, what happens. So uh, here is um, what we call a balanced bridge. <clears throat> Why is this balanced? Um, because I've got uh, 2 ohms, 2 ohms, and I'm going to put another 2 ohm resistor up here and another 2 ohm resistor here. All right, well, what does that do for me? Um, that means as my voltage drops as I go across the left side of the bridge and as I go across the left side, the right side of the bridge, um, let's see uh, how much current is there. There's 20 volts from here to here. There's 4 ohms on this side, which means I've got a whopping 5 amps. Um, now, some of you may realize that that would probably melt any electronics, but whatever. We'll, uh, we'll roll with it because it makes for easy numbers. And here we have 5 amps going across this side of the bridge, and we have 5 amps um, going across this side of the bridge because it's totally balanced. Um, so, uh, if I do Kirchhoff's law, or Ohm's law, one of those laws, I've got 5 amps flowing through 2 ohms. That's 5 times 2. That's a 10 amp volt drop, right? So it goes from 20, drops 10 volts. So this side right here drops down to 10 volts. And then from 10, it drops another 10 volts all the way down to zero. That's nice. It works out. <clears throat> How about the other side? A 2 ohm resistor, 2 ohm resistor, and 5 amps flowing through. That means uh, there's going to be a 10 volt drop. Uh, and then another 10 volt drop, um, so it goes all the way down to zero on this side as well. So this is a balanced bridge. Well, what does a Wheatstone bridge really do for us? What we want to do is measure something. So I'm going to call this um, voltage in here V measure. And we're going to measure across here. Now there's no difference, right? 10 volts here, 10 volts here, so what is this going to read? Zero. Well, I don't know. So let's just say I hooked my um, my red lead up to this side and my black lead up to this side, right? Because these voltmeters usually have a red wire and a black wire. Uh, so that means that this is my, if I go back to blue, um, this is my positive side. And so this is my negative side. And so what I'm going to read, well, zero volts. So my V measured, uh, V sub measure equals zero volts. All right. Well, uh, what if we have, if we replace one of these resistors um, and make an unbalanced bridge? Over here. And so now this orange resistor, I drew it just to make it different. Um, this could be, maybe it just got hot. Uh, so this could be a temperature sensor. Uh, this could be a strain gauge. Uh, it could be um, what we call a pizza resistive uh, pressure transducer. So it might be measuring some pressure. Uh, but for whatever reason, this thing is going to change resistance. Right? Either we stretch it, or we heat it, or we push on it, or we uh, do something chemically to it. I don't know, but this is going to change resistance. So let's just say this goes up to 3 ohms. Right? Oh, so now something's different. Um, but everything else still stays at 2 ohms, 2 ohms, and 2 ohms. All right, well now, what's going on? I still have 4 ohms over here, uh, 20 volts, so I have... Um, let's see, 20 volts divided by 4, it's still 5 amps here. Uh, so that means this is going to be 20, this is, drops down to 10, and then this drops all the way down to 0. Fine. Um, well, what happens on this side? Let's see, I've got now 5 ohms, so I only have 4 amps over here. 4 amps flowing on the right side of the bridge. Uh, 4 amps, 2 ohms, that means there's an 8 volt drop. So it was at 20 here, and it drops down to 12. Ooh, is that okay? Well, it is okay because um, I've got 4 amps over here flowing through 3 ohms, which means that's a 12-volt drop. So that went from 20 
to 12 down to 0 here too. So everything still works out, except that now when I go to measure this stuff and I put um, my V measured here, and I still have my red wire connected to this side, and I've got my um, black wire connected to this side. All right, so I'm defining, uh, as far as my V measured goes, this is my positive side and this is my negative side. Well, what's this going to read? Right Now that this side, the negative side, is actually higher than the positive side. So when I read this, my V measured this time equals, well, negative 2 volts. Negative 2 volts volts right and then what I oops didn't mean to do that um, then what I want to do is I can calibrate this somehow either using theory or just using um, do a bunch of practice runs uh, I can discover that um, boy I erased all sorts of stuff here didn't I what is going on uh, sorry about that uh, so this is two ohms here still, and um, that I, I can I can correlate this output voltage, my measured voltage, to some temperature, some strain, some pressure, something like that. So that's uh, the basics of a Wheatstone bridge. It's not that hard. One resistance change, the relative voltage drops change across that changed leg, and then um, and then we can measure that. You don't need to know anything more than that. All right. See you soon.